What's going on everyone? You're welcome once again to David Data Channel where we talk about data science, productivity and faith. If this is your first time here, I'm really excited to have you around and I'd like you to please hit the like button and the subscribe button so you can be notified once a new video drops in. In today's video, we're going to be continuing our DBT series and um, you can check the DBT playlist in the link above and the link in the description below as well. Alright, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about DBT exposures, right? Exposures are a new feature in DBT Cloud, uh, both Cloud and Core, right? DBT platform generally. Really, DBT exposures uh, make it possible for you to define and describe a downstream use of your DBT project. Your DBT project um, or models could um, be used in a dashboard or an application, maybe a reverse TL application or a data, data science pipeline, any stuff like that. Exposures basically helps you define and describe a downstream use of your model um, typically when you're building your dbt models you could have several stages let's say you have your um, your base your staging your intermediate layer and then finally your final layer that is being used so you just helps you just describe those that's final layer really that's just really what's all about and just as just like your model seeds and snapshots and sources um, exposures can also be defined are defined in your .yaml file right and they are nested under an exposures key so we have our sources key where we where we define our sources our models key we define our sources uh, our models rather the seeds and snapshots as well um so exposures also follow the same pattern you can define your exposures in your .yaml file right it has some key requirements that we, that we just have here name type owner required ex expected it depends on and uh, the, the the models it depends on right and basic stuff like that okay so it could be like a dashboard a notebook or analysis ml application ml use case a data science pipeline or an application basically it's just to organize it is used to organize in your documentation site right so that's when you go to your dbt documentation you can see that properly documented in your documentation site all right so quickly i'm just going to copy this and then we jump over to our dbt cloud and try to do the same thing here so i'm just going to go to our yaml file right and i'm um, so we have our, our sources we have our models yes yeah, so i'm just going to add this in here i'll take off this version too and um so i'm going to name this after let's see um this okay i'm going to name that after this model i'm just going to use model for example for that purpose for the purpose of this um tutorial right let me see the content of this all right so and what should i call this model i'm going to just call this model um orders pivot dashboard this exposure right and then um, type i'll leave the type as a dashboard maturity i'll just leave it high you may take it out or depending on the use case right i'm also going to leave this link here so typically um, if you're using a bi a bi tool you could have a link that you're going to embed there right now once you click that link it leads you to um, where that dashboard can be seen and then you have a description so i'm going to describe this as um this dashboard is used by marketing see i'm just writing hypothetically right to operations teams for others right operations team all right now this model depends on what so i'm just going to come to this place and check the lineage graph to see what depends on so this just depends on stage payments right and i'm going to see it depends on ref stage payments and i'm going to take this out all right owner i'm just going to put david data email i'm just gonna put david at david data.com all right awesome so i'm just gonna save this 
so once we save this in our lineage now we can see a different this um stuff has come with a different color purple color it shows that this is an exposure right these greens refers to your sources all these blues refers to your model this purple colors with this uh metric kind of thing dashboard here says that this is an exposure and dbt docs generate okay done so i'm gonna click on documentation here view docs and here we now have a part of our project called dashboard exposures and on exposure we have dashboard so if we had a pipeline or an application we'll have it here and once you just click on this you would see the model that is exposed as a dashboard and you can view everything here the information that you have put for that dashboard for that exposure this is actually used by the operations team maturity is high owner david data email exposure name the model it depends on which is stage payments you find it there and you want to view this exposure since it's a dashboard the link to your dashboard you click on the link it takes you there right so really this is what um dbt exposure is all about and it can help really organize your dbt projects your dbt project in your documentation all right so i hope you got a thing or two out of this video please do well to hit the like button and subscribe button and share your thoughts in the comment section thank you